welcome back. <laughs> welcome back. Season two, episode two of the Francis and Floyd podcast. A few things to discuss on this episode of the podcast. Am I a narcissist? Am I a narcissist? Are you a narcissist? <laughs> you might be a narcissist. You might be a narcissist. Uh, New feature on the podcast called the Bad News Blues. That's on the way. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's where you deliver the news and the blues, huh? Uh-huh. Okay. That's later in the episode. Okay. Later in the episode, okay? Where we take a, like. a sad, dumb story and we turn it into a blues song. Um, and we just kind of make light of somebody else's tragic, terrible situation, you know? Hey. It'd be like that sometimes. Um, <laughs> also, when was the last time you had a public outburst? Because I recently had one where I almost got kicked out of Target and the cops called on me, but I didn't give a damn and I'd do it again. I'd do it again. Yeah, bop, saying bop, I bop. lie. He's, playing, he's our new COVID Karen over here. Bop, bop, bop. I'd do it again. <laughs> That's later in the episode. Also, uh, the wifey is always receiving messages on um, social media asking for advice on cooking and just family life, things of that nature. So... We now have our first uh, edition of yeah. Insightful Misses. Insightful Misses. So I'll give you a little bit of wisdom, okay, each episode. So I'm excited about that. Yeah, let's get into this. Uh, well, actually, before we get into the first topic on this podcast episode, can we talk about season two, episode one? Oh. <laughs> we put a little episode <laughs> out and social media Ooh, lost their mind. That went nuts. Check out this clip. I was waiting for you to get done so I can go check out this clip. <laughs> I told Aaron to get a vasectomy. Aaron is our son. He's oh, 20 yeah. years old. About this. And I'm sorry, but man, I, it's really hard not no, to say this. No, spit it out. These women, is, they stay out here skeezing. And my son is not about to get trapped. And I feel like there's like a big movement of women just looking for men to attach themselves to, to get to the bag. And you're not about to get to the bag with my grandchildren and my son. And so I literally was like, hey, son, I got pregnant at 18. Yeah, He me too. got pregnant at 18. And literally our whole lives were dedicated to raising children for the last 20 years. So he's very traumatized about that. And I'm like, okay, with like telling him, you should get a vasectomy. You literally should get a vasectomy. And then when you are at your stage in life where you have the, the, the mental, the financial, hey, if she's the right one and you've made her your wife, Go get it reversed. Mm -hmm. Go get it reversed. If you can't afford to get it reversed, you can't afford to have children. A lot of us had kids at 18 with zero dollars, with zero guidance. You have a chance to not go through that. So I would say get a vasectomy. (laughs) How many of you watching this episode right now waited till marriage to get busy? Oh, Mm -hmm. I don't hear anybody. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. So how dare y'all? How dare y'all slide in the comments talking about, why don't you teach abstinence or how to protect yourself? Why don't you teach your kids good values and morals? What kind of mother are you? Don't teach your children about safe sex. Who said anything about safe sex, okay? It was just a conversation about another option for planned parenthood. You can plan any any, any, any way. I'm not trying to sterilize my son, y'all. I didn't force him. He's not going to go. The kid's not going to. He's not even a kid. He's not going to go get one. It's just a conversation, Oh, of course, we teach safe sex, abstinence, all of these yeah. things, morals, values. But we know that's not a reality, man. And we're yeah. just having a conversation. Now, she is trying to uh, castrate me, though. Oh, stop. That's facts. Stop. She's just stop. trying to cut everybody's balls off in here. Hey, look at the dog. She cut the dog's yeah. balls off. She tried to cut <laughs> my balls off. <laughs> Don't even say that. She's Don't encouraging even say that. So that. Oh, please stop. Ain't nobody. Money, 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 money. <laughs> Ain't nobody cutting no balls off yeah, around man. here. Uh, b- by the way, we got a 23-year-old and a 20-year-old. Neither one of them are pregnant, have kids, or yeah. any of that stuff. So I say we did a pretty good damn job. I agree. Teaching, teaching safe sex. Teaching them about safe sex. Um, watch the episode, okay? Go watch the episode. You know you're not having safe sex when you left the club. You know you're not Lies. doing that. But you're encouraging us Made to do it. Mm-hmm. How dare you? How dare you? Throwing <laughs> stones, throwing stones. Um, so chill out, y'all. Yeah. We've been on this TikTok rabbit hole about narcissism narcissistic and gaslighting and projection and pro- deflection and every kind of reflections words that's out there now i'm confused i don't really know how to like process all these new words and lingos and they's and them's and projections and rejections and rejections i'm getting used <laughs> to it though but apparently i was called a narcissist by someone that's really close to me and i was like <gasps> me a narcissist and so there goes the loop because all of a sudden TikTok heard it and then now he's getting all these videos and we're just sharing videos with each other about like, is that me? Mm-hmm. I don't think that's me. I'm not like that, right? Am I a narcissist? So, man, 
it's just weird to us because we never knew these words before. Can I be honest? Yeah. I discovered myself that I am not a narcissist. I'm not. But the person that told me I was <laughs> deflecting. My, maybe my, <laughs> you're joking. No, it, it's it's the it's person a lot. that told me I was being a narcissist is was has narcissistic traits. So they might be the narcissist. I'm just like I don't understand it. I'm trying to learn. Please help us learn. Don't yeah. don't be mad at us for not understanding. We're not all. We don't have all of this knowledge. We're just naive. We don't know. So. Let's talk about it. If I say something wrong, tell me I'm saying something wrong. I don't understand the deflection, reflection, narcissistic <laughs> propagandas of gaslighting. I don't yeah, know what that is. There's a lot to it. It's a lot of it is like, you know, manipulation based. Yeah. So I'm just thinking like, do we manipulate each other? Like, I don't you know, know, it's a lot to it. But. It goes deeper. Now we codependent. Yeah. We're like, uh, you can't trauma, even be in love no trauma more. Trauma bonding now. I mean, damn. I'm like, damn, I love my woman. No, dog, you trauma bond. It's toxic. It's toxic. Y'all just codependent on each other. Like a drug. It's like, yo, so what? If that's the case, like, if we chilling, we love each other, life is good. Like, I say, so what, man? Yeah, man. I'm People always want to mess up love. I'm over it. And now my algorithm is all jacked up. I just can't get out of these uh, gaslighting conversations. I'm gaslighting. I don't even know how to gaslight. Like, back in the day, because from what I understand is gaslighting, it's like you say something expecting a reaction out of someone or trying to get a reaction out of them, which is still narcissistic too. At I the same agree. Time. I agree. It's a, just another form of manipulation. Let me tell you something back in the day when I was growing up, that's called instigate. <laughs> that's like, Ooh, you're going to let them talk to you like that, bro. Yeah, like, dang. Ooh, dang. That is gaslighting. Everybody was gaslighting. Everybody. Facts. Dang, or when they would make you break up with somebody because they literally were miserable. And yeah. they just gaslight you to make you feel like you have a terrible relationship. And they're like, break up with him. Yeah. And you then, do you have friends that do that to you? Yeah, they're, I don't have friends. It, it, they're not in my friend circle. Oh, uh, you don't have friends that try to gaslight you to break up with your man? No. They're not my friends if they right. do that. That's they, facts. You're not my, a friend. my friends say, hey, Sarah, what'd you do? My real friends, they'd be like, Sarah, now what'd you do to Jello? Right. My real friends be like, hey, bro. I know you. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah. whatever she did, you're going to have to go ahead and let it go because yeah. I know you. Those are good friends. But bad friends will gaslight you and try to get you to break yeah, up with that person. They sure will. Um, Watch out for them. But apparently, um, I'm a narcissist. I'm a narcissist. I'll be <laughs> gaslighting. Well, we're educating ourselves to yeah. make sure that we're not, you know. And, yeah. and I did read some of the definitions online about a narcissist. And to me, it just basically sounded like someone who was very egotistical, who was real. And I don't really feel like we do that. Like, I mean, I don't know other people's perceptions of, of us, but like, it's really self-centered. You want to be admired. You know, you only hang out with certain type of people. Mm -hmm. um, and you just like manipulate others into doing what you want them to do don't want when they don't do you use um they're the type of people who will like i'm gonna burn you or they like try to ruin your reputation and stuff like that that's a that's, that's a narcissist, a narcissist. i ain't never i never done no shady stuff like that to nobody i've never done that but boy have i had it done to me multiple times by multiple people and now it all makes sense yeah, it all makes sense it deflection makes sense. you're deflecting like yo yeah. i'm not how am i deflecting the dishes in the sink son <laughs> need to get washed no, Dad, you're just deflecting because you really <laughs> didn't wash your dish last night, so now you're just thinking about my dish. Yeah. I don't know what this is. Educate me, y'all. Educate uh -huh. me. I'm trying to learn. I, the definitions don't do it. Like, how are you dealing with being a narcissist? Yeah, we're helping each other at the house now. Every time we do right. something, he goes, oh, I just gaslit you. I'm sorry. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. My apologies. Allergy season? It is allergy season. Allegra. So. Oh, I, just I would cut that out. Again. I'm not cutting that out because it's real. <laughs> I had to sneeze. What do you want? I'm human. Oh, man. Um, yeah, so can y'all yeah, help like, with the uh, understanding of what a narcissist really is? Are y'all just learning this? Okay. Oh, yeah. Ow. This is called the Bad News Blue. I heard them notes. So we take a little story and uh, we make it bluesy. We take a terrible story and make it bluesy, if that makes okay, sense. Okay, so it's not such a terrible story anymore with the bluesy on it. Exactly. We're going to laugh at somebody else's pain. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's the bad news blues. Uh, I got a little story here. Now, before I get into it, I want you to know, uh, caught with your pants down um, is mostly just a saying, but 
this could definitely happen to you in real life. Yay, it's the bad news blues. You gonna sing this with me, baby? I got you. I got you. So the guy's pants was down. Wait, hold on. Let me get. Oh, how you gonna tell this to you? I thought you said something about somebody's. Pants. Wait a minute. You can't. <laughs> Sorry, it start the song over. You I just, can't. I was confused because you, you didn't tell me what the story was. Oh, you didn't give me a chance to get into it. You can't Dang. just tell the okay, story well, before you, it. Sorry. My God. <laughs> Start it over. You got to let me get All into right. it. I will, I, will, I will bypass pants and bit being down. Oh, cops in Denver. It's a suburb of Lakewood, Colorado. Lakewood. Oh, Lakewood. now they got a call about a burglary in progress. Last Thursday around 4 a.m. And when they showed up to arrest the suspect, they caught him on the toilet. <laughs> he was taking a shit. Taking a shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, he was taking a sh on the toilet when he got caught Dang. by the car. Stooky booty. Uh, they <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. He was a dookie booty. Uh, they caught him using a drone. Um, they located his place, um, and uh, we got video. Wow. We got video of him being arrested while he's taking a shit. He was having a <laughs> day. That is a <laughs> situation. He's having a <laughs> time. <laughs> Damn. I wonder if they let him wash his hands. Uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> did he wash like his Like, it's hands? all on the handle. You're touching on the dude. Um, Ooh, I like your vocals, baby. Them shits was, yeah. Uh, was that's nice. the bad news blues. I love it. Uh, mm -hmm. When was the last time you had a, a public outburst and, and and almost had the cops called on you, or what happened? COVID, Karen. I was actually just speaking of that. I've never had a public outburst yet. Yeah. Um, I know it's coming, but I, just not yet. I was in a bashes, and some lady called one of the workers a name. And she, he called her out on it, and she just started flipping out in the store saying, I didn't do it. I'm a Christian. I didn't do it. And he's like, yes, you did. Yes, you did. And then she just started screaming on the top of her lungs, and I was scared. Yeah. It's, people, it's, out here lose. <laughs> people out here wild. <laughs> Keep your wits about yourself, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I guess I'm added to the little, to the pot of people who spat. I can't say that word. Spazzed out? Can't say that anymore. Spaz? You can't even say spaz. Why? Because it's, it's a derogatory word. That's an actual Since term. Since when? I, I think it's an actual term. No, I don't believe it. I think so. Yeah, uh, but people be wilding out here. I, and now I'm a part of that people, right? So long story short, one day. Hold on. Yeah. One day I was walking through Target and I decided I wanted to go in and get some toothpaste. And then I got myself <laughs> a toothpaste. And then I saw this young lady, 23 years old, blonde girl, her and her friend. Our mm -hmm. co-worker dressed up AT&T gear on. They got the blue, looks official, and they're inside Target. Oh, because if it's inside Target. I mean, come on, right? <laughs> so then they approach me, and they're like, excuse me, sir. I'm like, uh, how you doing? She's like, listen, uh, what service do you have? I was like, I got T-Mobile. She's like, you want to switch? I was like, no, I'm good. T-Mobile's cool. She's like, well, listen, if you come to uh, AT&T, I can get you a whole different deal. I can not only get you a deal, I can get you and the family new phones. On top of that, your phone bill will be $160. Oh, then I'm going to put you a part too. of the AARP plan, which is going to keep your bill lower to $160 for life. You'll be grandfathered a forever. AARP? What? Sign me up. Yeah, you you missed a little key points too, huh? Hey, listen, whatever scam she's pulling her <laughs> trick, what she's hey. saving me money. So I'm like, go for it. She's using your grandma's account. Facts. <laughs> Turns out everything that she said to me was a complete lie. False. Shame. I ended up owing a ton of money. I got to pay $700 for my wife's phone. AT&T, we went to the store to confirm because she ghosted me completely. Straight ghosted And they was him. like, yo, my man, yeah, she lied to you, bro. We, we can't do that. We're not going to do that. And the worst part is AT&T admitted to us in the store that this is, like, big and popular. And he's like, yeah, we yeah. get a lot of people who come in here. And they're like, we got, we were told this. He's like, yeah, it's a, it's a scam, bro. They're third-party distributors. They're not part of. Like, wait, how do you allow them to wear your brand? Right. So, yeah, they just, they, like, scammed him. And he wanted to, like, burn the whole store down. I did, because I'm like, I'm in Target. This type of thing is supposed to happen in Target. Yeah, like, like, you don't come no to Target way to get scammed. Happening. Yeah. So then after t the AT&T uh, guy told us at the actual AT&T store that there was nothing he can do. He's like, yo, you got scammed. 
Way to go, stupid. You got There's like 14 days to cancel or can go back to T-Mobile or not. Right. You but know, he's like, what, what she promised you, I, ain't nothing I can do about it. I, that's not going to happen here. I don't know what cell phone company you think this is, but that's not going to happen. So fast forward, we go to the store one day, and I'm walking down the aisles yet again to get some cottage cheese and blueberries. <laughs> and I see the AT&T representatives. Now, it's not the same girl, but it's a dude who's got the bowl cut. The Edgar. You can't say that. It's the <laughs> What do you mean? It's called the Edgar cut. I don't know, man. I just say it's literally called Edgar. Edgar. It's you, a whole thing. No, nope, people. Media. People are wilding well, out here. It's a bowl cut. <laughs> I ain't say that. She and my said son it. got Edgar. I mean, what? oh my god, you said it again. Stop <laughs> saying it. Okay, uh, so we're in Target. You're getting so we're your in Target cheese. trying to get cottage cheese, and I just so happen to see one of the reps there. Now it's not the same girl that scammed me, but it's still them. And I see them with a lady, and before I can say anything, wife is like, "No, stop." We're leaving yeah, now. You go get your blueberries, and I'm going to go this way and grab what I need to grab. You go that way. And he's just like, oh, my gosh. And, and I understand um, I understand his frustration, but I just let, let, them, let them do their thing. As soon as I turned down the aisle, there he is standing there looking at me, looking at the AT&T mm -hmm. rep, and he's just, like, itching. Sure enough. Hey, yo, my man. <laughs> let me talk to you. Like he do in New York. <laughs> Hey, yo, my man, let me talk to you. He was over there scamming that girl. Hey, yo, hey, yo, let me talk to you, son. You know what I'm saying, son? Was all that you was talking earlier, son, about that free AARP <laughs> friend, plan you got, son. You free phones? That free iPhone 15 for my son, Oh, son. my gosh. No, I'm just joking. I didn't do that. But what I did say was because I saw another lady who was about to get scammed, and she was trying to get the out, The whole time we were in the store, she was trying, but he just kept coming. She was trying. He was like, no, 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 come here. This. I'll get you this, and then mm -hmm. I'll get you this. And I looked at him. I looked at her, and I said, No! He did. Whatever that dude is telling you right now, he's lying. And the whole store was like, <gasps> and it was loud. It wasn't like little bit. It was loud. And I was like, oh, my God. I went in on a big dog. Whatever he's telling you, he is lying, lying to you. I guarantee it. And he's like, now get it. And she's, like Denzel. She grabbed her basket so fast and took off running. She's like, she thank you. And she just started running. And I felt like I was in a movie. All the Target <laughs> workers and electronics were like, and then he's like, I just came over here. I just lost out on five hundred dollars or thousands of dollars, mm -hmm. and da, 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 and the guy's like, "I didn't do it, bro." And then like, so you gonna make me lose out on seven hundred dollars? That's what you're telling me. <laughs> I was me? like, mm -hmm. "Come on, let's go." So I was like, "Yo, you caused me to lose seven hundred dollars." That whole dude's commission. You are scamming people, and you should be ashamed, ashamed of, of yourself, yourself for scamming hard working Americans. He did say that. He did. Say hard working that. Americans. He said hard working Americans. And then I was like, "I'm proud to be <laughs> oh an American." Oh my gosh! No, I'm just playing. I didn't do that. <laughs> but I, I told him like, "Yo, you're scamming people, man." So then the Target employees started like, looking like at started me. started backing up into the. Like, all the Target workers were out. You know that they, Homer meme? Yeah, where you see the grass? Where he back into the bush? That's what everybody did. That's what everybody did. They even walked us, walked up front, followed us to the store, and stayed at the front of Target just to make, make sure, sure I wasn't going to flip. But they all understood. Like, it seemed that it seemed like all the employees already understood like, and were like, scam. good job, bro, for calling this guy out. Because you know all they mean? do, you know, you guys walk to the store at Walmart, Target, they're everywhere. They'd be like, hey, do you need Cox communication? Hey, do you guys need T-Mobile? It's third party. That means read the fine print, okay? Because it's a scam. The way you said you need. What? Anyway. Um, no, we're not going to worry about that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so let us know, man. Anytime you've ever been scammed before, leave us a comment. Send us a DM. We'll talk about it on the next episode. We'll, you know, maybe oh, we'll do a live and, you know, we'll discuss the last time you, I can't say the S word, the last time you flipped out in public. Oh, kids, we can't say that word. Yeah, you can't. Oh, well, after you already said it, though. there's a couple of scams going on right now. And I think like it, it's it's good to talk about because a lot of the elderly, including our parents, are getting these. They're texting you now and they're saying like, hey, how are you? And then you're like, oops, sorry, you have the wrong number. And they're like, oh, that's oh, I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. And then they start talking about their life and their kids and that they live in a different country and they want to be your best friends and start sending you pictures. It's a scam. Facts. It's a scam. Don't fall for it, y'all. And don't ever give nobody no three-digit codes. Don't ever do none of that. Yeah. And also these gift card scams out there. People are cutting half of the gift card, taking the scanning part, the swiper part, and leaving the barcode. So when you go buy a birthday present gift card or something, and you, they scan the barcode, you give the card in the card to the person. There's no swiper on it. And so as soon as that card's activated, the thief now has it and can just swipe it at whatever store. Yeah, they out here scamming. They out here getting folks. I almost got scammed uh, at a, inside of, uh, outside of Walmart parking lot for an iPhone, not iPhone, but an Apple Watch and AirPods. 
This wow. lady walked up to me and she was like, I have this iPhone, Apple Watch, and this <laughs> And you believed her because she was so sweet. And I'll give them both to you for $200. Scam. And she made that eye contact. She looked like a little a mini version of Miss Doubtfire. So it just I felt warm. So I'm like, 200 for that? <laughs> Watch. Facts. Went inside the Walmart, pulled out the cash, but I took out 260. Because you ain't gonna get me. You're not gonna talk slick to a can of oil, okay? Even though I got scammed by the AT&T girl. <laughs> yeah, it did. doesn't happen often yes, when you scam did. me. All right. Oh my gosh. So I walked up to her and I'm like, listen, uh, if you let me open those boxes, I'll give you an additional 60 bucks. If you let me open the boxes before I give you the cash to ensure that I'm knew. not getting scammed. She's like, no, no, no. You're not a good man. Uh-huh. You are not a good person. She knew. She what said. do you think was in the box? Some rocks. Did it have like cards. did it have like that sticker that the Old new cards. package has? So you no, couldn't open it? No, I mean, it? it was legit. It was legit. It was sealed and everything. Plastic on it and everything. I mean, so, uh, like she just ripped yeah. it from the Apple store and came and sold it in a Walmart parking lot. It was legit. But I just didn't trust it just because... That's too low of a price for something so expensive. Right. You even had the cash out. I mean, if I, yeah. you had the cash out, I'd have opened it for you. Right. And just let me yeah. see. You got to be careful. I saw on TikTok that there were um, elderly women and men and they were selling, saying like, hey, I need to get, my, get over here and do this and I'll sell you this gold. And so they are selling gold to these people and they were buying it for like hundreds of dollars. Yeah. And uh, yeah, somebody came and called them out. I was like, don't do that. Like what you said. They're scamming people, bro. They're scamming, man. And it's fake jewelry and stuff like that. So. Yeah. Hey, this is completely off, ba- off, off, off base and off topic. This has nothing to do with being scammed, but I wanted to talk about this because hmm. we talked about this earlier. Ladies, do me a favor. Let your man play video games because <laughs> a lot of y'all be hating for no reason and y'all taking it way too serious than you actually need to. Let me put it in perspective for you, right? You love makeup. As a little girl, you grew up playing with the Barbie dream, dream houses and the Corvettes and all of that. So you kind of grow up and you do the same thing. You decorate your house. You do the Barbie decoration. You like to wear makeup, jewelry, paint your nails. There's a lot of different trinkets that nails. you can play with, right? It keeps you in that young uh, mindset. It lets you tap into the child that's inside of you that never went anywhere. And you don't let your man tap into his own child as if we're not supposed to have one and you are. Um, if you want your man to show his happiness and some of that childlike quality and energy inside of him, let him play his game. I let him play his game. Let him be a kid. I do. So if he tells any of you guys that game with him that are watching, yeah. he's lying. I let him play his game. She, she let him play. <laughs> She let him play. I let him play. You know, honestly, though, I get he does, he's a busy guy. So when I do see him, he's always never like he's always working. He's always doing something. When I do see him on his game, I'm like, it makes me happy yeah. because I'm like, oh, you're you're not thinking. And I really do care about like your mind. And yeah. so when I know you're playing your games, I'm like, I love it. You yeah. know what I mean? So don't get it twisted. And, I, and I, I do encourage you women who really are against it. Like, here's the deal. If your dude ain't taking care of his business, though, like if he's just out here just dirty, ain't wash his ass, you know, he's he's missing work, he's going to he's going to he's not sleeping, he's just not, you know, then I'm not talking about those situations. But yeah. like he's a grown ass man, he's providing, he's not doing nothing wrong. Let him have his little break, okay? He don't have his hot wheels and his little army men to play with. Yeah, man. You know, that's why most men grow you know, they get older, they get like a classic car, try to rebuild it in the garage, they got motor oil all on the ground. <laughs> Yeah, because they're see. trying to tap into that child inside of them that they don't really get to, to, to really communicate with. Because if they do, we get roasted by women. You ain't this. You ain't that. You're immature. You need to grow. I'm like, yo, let them play a video game. Let them play a game. Your man will be happy. <laughs> just, just make happy. Sure, just give them a limit, ladies. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Give him a time limit. I'm just kidding. Look, man, happy Give husband, a time limit. happy house, happy wife, happy life, right? Yeah, that's true. Both parties need to be happy, man. I'm telling you. Let your man be a kid. Let him be a kid and don't shun him. Join him. Yeah. You might like a little video game. I, I'm too grown to play games. Sometimes when he plays play like game. he plays like games, I and he's like trying to beat the hard monster and it's taking forever and you know when you get to that point when you want to throw the remote he'll be like here you want to fight him i like how you're just gonna play my game like that though like he, he's trying to beat the hard monster <laughs> <laughs> i'm just i don't i'm trying to visualize 
<laughs> hey, God of War is not an easy game. It's not. It's not. It's not so it's not for anyone who game. understands that game, that game is hard. So like, I'll take like eighty different kills of getting killed on uh, the game, so he can get his his mind back to try to go fight the hard monster. Yeah, I appreciate you, babe. You know. Love it's it. teamwork. Love it. Teamwork makes your dream work. All right, so uh, we're going to wrap up this episode. We love y'all. Thanks for you for checking <laughs> we, in. We got to do go. insightful. I know. Oh, my God. Oh, Let okay. me get All right, to sorry, it. Sorry. He's ready. He's ready to go play his game. Uh, facts. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so insightful misses because, you know, wifey's always getting these questions. And, you know, go ahead and give them yeah. a little bit of insight. I babe. think this one for sure is going to be based off of what I do every day. I cook, and most of y'all who do follow me see all the food that I'm doing, and I get a lot of comments like, hey, I can't cook, and I don't even know how to cook, and you know, I wish I could learn, and I wish I knew how. You can. You can totally do this. Like Julia Child said once, if you can read, you can cook, okay? And, and it, it, you just have to get in that kitchen and just make recipes get online find all kinds of recipes and just make it don't be afraid of making mistakes y'all got to be fearless in there like make sure you have a fire extinguisher and stuff like that <laughs> um but like really just just have fun have fun so don't be afraid of it if you can read you can cook all right so. yeah because you're just reading recipes come on <sighs> Season two, episode two of the Friends of Podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in. Love y'all. Do us a favor. Like, comment, subscribe, subscribe. and follow us on social media. Search Francis and Floyd. Yes. And it's Francis with an E, not an I. Facts. Love y'all. See you next episode. Bye. Because <laughs> all we feel is good vibes. Yeah, all we feel is good vibes.